Today we're going to be taking a look at the Bandai Tamashi Nation's Naruto SH Figure Arts Sasuke figure. So what is going on everybody? How is everyone doing today? Daredevil19 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Sasuke figure by Tamashi Nations and he is definitely one of my favorite characters from the show, him and Kakashi. I did just start watching it, that's why in my Kakashi review I didn't know what everything was called. I'm about to finish season one and I'm loving the show, it just keeps getting better and better but Sasuke is definitely one of the best characters I think on the show. But anyway, let's start the review off first with the packaging for the Sasuke figure. So we got some basic packaging for Sasuke with Naruto figure arts. We get black, gray, and orange and red for the main colors of the box. We get a very nice image of the figure right there. We get the window there. It says SH figure arts, something in Japanese. I don't know what it says. If anybody knows it, please comment it in the comments below and I thank you ahead of time. On the bottom it says warning blah 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 Naruto Shippuden. Warning blah 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 Tamashi Nations Bandai. The bottom of it is the barcode and blah 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 stuff nobody cares about. The top of it says SH figure arts and some other stuff in small words. And then the side of it right there we get his symbol. I'm not going to try to say his name because I'm going to butcher it. Then it says Sasuke there and then SH Figure Arts. And the other side of it we get those same symbols that are on the front of the box. A nice cool image of the figure there and then it says SH Figure Arts again. And then the back of the packaging shows a bunch of different poses you can get him into along with his accessories. But anyway that is the packaging. Let's get this figure open and take a closer look at Sasuke. Alrighty, so taking a closer detailed look at Sasuke here and Tamashi Nations really did a great job on this piece. I love the paint shading all throughout it. Uh, the hair is sculpted very well. We do get some blue paint shading right there because the hair is a black plastic. But nice sculpt work on the hair. I like the way the back of the hair looks. It is very sharp, so be careful of that. And the uh, skin tone seems to be pretty good. It does seem a little more pale on the chest compared to the neck and the face, but it's not that big of a deal because it's not incredibly noticeable. And I really like the gray color that they chose for this jacket piece. I really like the way the uh, collar looks because you like hide his face a little bit and make him look more badass. And I do like how the uh, how there is black paint shading all throughout it and they sculpt work with the wrinkles. And down by the midsection they kept going with the paint shading along with the silver for the zipper. Then we get the zipper tab right there. So nice work by Tamashi Nations on that. And then the back right there we do get, I believe that's his uh, clan symbol. It looks like a Pokeball. And then they did put a little bit of paint shading on the arms. Uh, we get his wristbands right there, nice wrinkles throughout them, and a little bit of blue paint shading on each of them. So nice work there. Uh, one of my favorite parts is definitely this belt right here. They really did an amazing job on the sculpt. It looks like real uh, rope to me. And there is black paint shading all throughout it. But very nice sculpt work on it. And then we do get a, uh, a hole right there to put his sheath. And this is on a uh, ball joint, so that's pretty cool. But nice work on the belt. That's one of my favorite parts about this figure. And then we get this blue piece here. Um, it is a softer rubbery type plastic, so it doesn't hinder too much leg articulation. But they have nice black paint shading all throughout it. And nice uh, sculpt work on the wrinkles throughout it as, as well. So really nice work by Tamashi Nations. And then for the pens here... I mean, they did a nice job sculpting it, but I think they went a little too heavy with the black paint shading. It looks like they overdosed on it. It's not as bad on the back of the pants. See, it's more subtle, the paint shading. But on the front, they went real heavy on it. I mean, the sculpt of the, the bagginess of the pants and the wrinkles looks very good. Just the paint shading kind of bothers me a little bit. And then down, I don't know if it looks like that in the anime because I didn't get up to Shippuden yet. But um, you get the lower legs right there where the pants aren't as baggy. There is black paint shading all throughout it. And then we get his sandals here and his feet. Did a nice sculpt work on it. It's just uh, this strap on the front by the toes. The black paint is kind of bleeding onto the toes right there. So that kind of that kind of annoys me a little bit. Same on that side as well. A little minor gripe I have. And then the bottom of them, really nothing much going on. 
I mean, overall, they did an amazing job on the detail on this figure, so I'm very happy with it. But anyway, let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories, we get a bunch of awesome stuff included with this figure. An energy effect piece, a sword, two different sheaths, interchangeable hands, interchangeable face, and an interchangeable hair piece. So we get this right here where his hair is just normal and we get the normal looking face sculpt. I mean, they did a nice job on the face sculpt there. The eyes seem to be painted nice and centered. They painted the line pretty good for the mouth. And the sculpt is pretty good on it too. Same around the ears. Nice sculpt work there. So they did a good job with that, and then we get this hairpiece and face right here. We get the yelling, screaming type face sculpt, and then we get the red eyes, which I think is, let's see if I pronounce it right this time, uh, shotting gun? Shotting gun? I think that's how you pronounce it. Did I say it right that time? But uh, I really like the red eyes. They did a nice job with the paint on it. Same around the mouth, nice sculpt work and paint. And then we get this hairpiece right here, where it's kind of like his hair is, I guess, I guess when he's in action and his hair is kind of moving around a little bit. Very subtle of a difference, but you can slightly tell how it sticks out a little bit more on this one compared to that one. But pretty cool that we get that. And then we also get 11 interchangeable hands. We get a pair of fists, which are sculpted pretty darn good. I don't think there's any paint shading on them, though. Nice sculpt work on them. So we get a pair of fists. And then we get a pair of, like, uh, open, kind of open gripping hands where his fingers are clenched a little bit. So we get a pair of those. And then we get a pair of just regular open hands. Which is probably one of my favorites out of all the hands you get with the figure. So you get a pair of those. And then you get a pair of, like, karate chop type hands. I know these are used for his uh, energy effect. Just show you when I get up to that. And then we get a pair of like style posing hands, and they do those hand signals and stuff. I don't know if you can really do it. Yeah. We get those, and then we get a right gripping hand, which is to grip onto his sword. I guess he just uses his right hand when he uses his sword. So pretty cool, we get a bunch of interchangeable hands, and then we also get his sword, and we get two different sheaths. We get the... Uh, the one where the sword is in the sheath, and one where the sword isn't in the sheath. Focus camera, you bust it, and there we go. I mean, it is just a black plastic with a little bit of sculpt work on it. This is the one where the sword is not in the sheath, as you can tell, and this is the one where the sword is sheathed up. Is it focused? Yeah, I think it is. Now you can see the sculpted line right there where the handle of the sword is. And it's pretty cool because he does have a place on the rope where you could slide in the uh, sheath just like that and that just looks badass I mean you could put either one on either that one where it's sheath sheathed up or the one where it is not and he's using his sword in battle and that just looks awesome and then we also get his badass sword right here which I guess is a katana it looks like it it's some very nice uh, metallic silver paint for the blade and then the handle is the same as the sheaths. So nice work with that. Probably one of my favorite accessories. And then we also get his energy effect. I don't know what this move is called because, like I said, I haven't gotten up to Shippuden yet. I just started Season 2 of Naruto. But I really like the sculpt of it. It looks awesome. And I love that blue translucent plastic. That really looks badass. And I like how it's like bluish and clear and bluish on these parts because it's supposed to be electricity coming off the uh, energy effect. I mean, nice sculpt work around this piece also. The one thing I don't like is you could tell it was two separate pieces and how they glued it together. Whoops. Because this side like overlaps this side a little bit because it connects like right around there. So it looks a little weird. But other than that, I think it looks awesome. And there is a hole in there. Because that is for these hands right here, the karate chop hands. You just insert them there. Whoops. And you could have them using his energy effect. There we go. So, pretty badass. Very nice energy effect piece. Great, now his hand is stuck in there. But anyway, that is all the accessories we get with Sasuke. Anyway, let's continue on. Now for the height of Sasuke, he stands about... 
five and a half inches tall, and then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Naruto figure and the SH Figure Arts Kakashi figure. And then here he is compared to the Mafex first release Batman figure and the SH Figure Arts Darth Maul figure. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Premium Color Trunks figure and the SH Figure Arts Broccoli figure. Yes, I know his name is Broly. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Awakening Warrior Super Saiyan Goku figure and the SH Figure Arts Premium Color Super Saiyan Vegeta figure. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons, so let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So for the articulation, you get some pretty good movement for this figure. The head does have two points, one at the head, one at the neck. The head does go up a pretty good amount, and it does look down a decent amount. You do get pivot there and swivel, then the neck goes back and forth. It does pivot, and it does swivel as well. We get a point of articulation at the diaphragm that goes back and forth goes side to side and it does swivel and then we get a point at the waist that swivels goes back and forth and it does pivot it's kind of hard to get that articulation because of this piece right here and then the rope is on a ball joint so you can move it all around so nice work there the arms you have a nice armpit joint that you can move back and forth up and down you can kind of rotate it in a circle if you want uh, the shoulders go up that much if you want them to go up more you're gonna have to uh, articulate this back a little bit and then do something like that I mean it's kinda weird but they really don't go up too much a little less actually not too bad a little less than 90 degrees and they do go up and down you do get a swivel at the bicep it does swivel at the shoulder as well and then we get the double jointed elbows this one doesn't really bend in as much as this part uh, we get a swivel and a hinge at the wrist so nice movement there and then for the legs, as I was saying, this doesn't hinder it too much. It, his left leg gets hindered more than the uh, right leg because this piece is a thicker piece. But they do kick forward that much. And then for this side, it does go up a little bit more. You do have these shipping joints, so they do kick forward a little bit more. But this leg gets hindered by the uh, skirt piece. This one goes up a little bit better. So, And then it kicks out to the side. A little less than 90 degrees. You do get the uh, swivel at the thigh. They do go to the back a bit too. It does get hindered by the back skirt piece. And then we do have the double jointed. Actually, they're single jointed knees. Oh no, they're double jointed. Sorry. Come on, you damn skirt piece. So they bend all the way back. That's good. And then the ankles. Whoops. They do swivel. They hinge up a decent amount. They hinge down a decent amount. And then we do get very nice pivot there. And then some toe articulation. So we do get some very nice movement with this figure. It's just the skirt piece does hinder the leg articulation a little bit, but it's not incredibly bad. But overall, I do highly recommend the SH Figure Arts Sasuke if you're a big Naruto fan, if you love the SH Figure Arts line, or if Sasuke is one of your favorite characters. You really need to add this to your collection without a doubt. Once again, Tamashii Nations made a fantastic piece, another great addition to add in with the rest of your figures, so I do recommend this 100%. You get a bunch of dope accessories included with this piece, a ton of interchangeable hands, two interchangeable faces and front hair pieces, two sheaths, a sword, and an energy effect piece. So I'm very happy with that aspect of the figure. The articulation I'm pretty satisfied with. The only thing that kind of sucks is that skirt piece kind of hinders some spots of leg articulation. But other than that, you really get some very nice movement throughout the entire figure. And the detail was done incredibly well, especially with the paint shading. But there's one spot with the paint shading I think they overdid it, which was on the legs. I don't know if it looks like that in the anime. If anybody knows, please let me know in the comments. And the paint is pretty much perfect throughout the entire figure. Just a little bit of paint bleeding on both feet with the black paint for the straps bleeding onto the toes. But other than that, they did a great job. And the sculpt, they really knocked it out of Leaf Village on that one. So they really did an excellent job on the detail with this Sasuke. And if you would like to get the SH Figure Arts Sasuke for your collection, he does cost right now between 65 through 85 bucks, depending on where you purchase it. I got mine from agelessgeeks.com.
but he is sold out right now. Sometimes he does get these figures back in stock, so you can keep checking on his website, or you could join the Ageless Geeks Facebook group. If you can't find it on there, you could always try eBay and Amazon. But anyway, that is my review of the SH Figure Arts Sasuke figure. Hope you enjoyed my review. If you want to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, and favorite the video too. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, just give it a thumbs up anyway. But thanks for watching. I will see you later. Here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Bobadabu Babu Sasuke figure by Tamashi Plations. They're looking very cool. We get the win the window. What the heck? And the other side, but we get the the uh, hey, You're in the S H Figure Arts Broccoli figure. Yes, I know his name. Tamashi mate. What? You get a bunch of dope. A dope. Here I just have a little bit of paint bleeding on each of the toes on each of the toes. With or you could join the Ageless Geeks Facebook group. If you didn't, if you have a little.